Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. I'm here to do a quick haul. Uh, some, I got some things from Stampin' Up! that I ordered that came in. And um, I also picked up some stuff from my local um, Walmart. Uh, and um, I wanted to share them with you. So first, uh, I got quite a bit of things from Walmart, our local Walmart. And uh, one thing that I picked up um, is this Canson um, XL Mixed Media Pad. This is uh, the one that I normally do the like uh, product focuses when I do product focuses and when I kind of play around with. And this is what I use. And uh, they don't always have this in stock. Uh, I guess because it's popular, I'm not sure, but I haven't seen them for months. And so when I saw this, uh, when I went there yesterday to pick up some um, tie-dye things my kids wanted to do, and so I picked them up. It was in the same area, the art or craft section or whatever. And I picked this up, it was about, um, it was over $9, $9 and like, 70 cents or something like that. Um, I know before when they used to carry this it was only like seven bucks But um, the price did kind of go up, but it's um, good to have an extra And then I also picked up these cheap This is a craft brush pack. There's a lot of things in here. There's brushes there's these big brushes I thought would be really good to like use for like uh, just so okay so and then there's some also um, little brushes in here too that I can use and I don't really have to worry because this was really cheap also has some um, foam pouncers this was like less than six dollars for all of this so this was I thought was a super bargain because then I can, um, my daughter can use some of these too. So I got that. And then I also saw this. This is something new that they had. It's the We Are Memory Keepers. Um, these are the pocket page things for uh, Project Life. And this is uh, for the trip. So I can make um, for my uh, trip uh, scrapbook or uh, pocket pages. And it has all these things about trips so I thought that was pretty fun and this was only like a little it was under six bucks so that's like super cheap so I got that I've never seen them before and then I also picked up this right here this is a canvas panel um, I don't know this brand I've never used it the simply um, but that was the brand of things that they carried so and it was really cheap so I bought it this has like six panel I mean sorry it has three it's a three pack duh so it has uh, three canvas I got that and then they also had these um, mediums so I thought that was pretty cool and these were like uh, five dollars I think four ninety nine or so and I got the matte medium and the gloss so I've never used these before I've only used um, uh, Liquitex and so I, I mean that was really cheap so I got that and they also had the gesso as well this is acrylic gesso that they had and I've never seen them there before so I picked it up um, we rarely get uh, good stuff I think over here I don't know it just doesn't we don't I don't know so then I also got the uh, black India ink maybe I can do some drawing and this is also by the same company and um, I went to the reason why I picked these up because I got this this is a Liquitex clear gesso and this is four ounces and at my um, Ben Franklin the local craft store this was like twelve dollars and so um, I got it because I needed it but um, that's why normally I order things online and things because twelve Twelve ninety five, I think, was this um, the price? I mean, that's a lot, I think, because you can buy a, a lot bigger container uh, for that same price. But I needed it, so I got it um, at that time. So this is what I picked up from um, 
Walmart. I thought that was, I was excited because I um, can't really find art supply things here. Because if I go to the art supply um, place, there's one in um, Townside and their prices are pretty high too. So from Stampin' Up, um, not everything came. A couple things were back ordered, but I did get um, this another one of these white simply uh, pressed clay. This is really soft and easy to work with. And even when they dry, um, it doesn't dry hard. It dries kind of like foamy. So I like that. And then I also picked this up. This is um, something I was debating whether to get or not. Because, I mean, I do have the electronic cutting machines. So, oh, that was another thing that I wanted to ask you guys, ask you guys a question about. Um, a while back when um, I did a video uh, using my Scan and Cut, and um, I showed how I uh, saved my Stampin' Up! images onto my Scan and Cut machine so that um, next time I want to, like, say, use this, I can cut it out without re-scanning it into my machine. And, um, I mean, I don't do that for, like, all of my stamps because I have hundreds of stamps, but uh, certain things that I use um, quite often, I had saved it to my machine so that I can um, just cut it out when I need it instead rather than scanning it each time. Uh, but then somebody had left me a message saying that comment saying um, that is not acceptable. Like you, um, the SAM companies don't allow that and that's a no-no uh, just to let me know. And then for me to let my viewers know that that is a no-no, uh, I was not sh um, sure if that was how it is. I mean. I'm definitely aware of the fact that like digital images, digital stamps and things that I purchase that um, you are not supposed to share with anybody. It's for your own personal use and own personal use only. And I work with a lot of digital images as well as uh, stamp images too. But, um, you know, if you like were to copy this and then upload it to like, you know, online or something for everybody to use, I mean, that's a no, no. And uh, of course, I'm super aware of that. And um, but I was not aware that I could uh, save like this is a stamp that I just got. And then if I was to stamp this out and save it to my machine, and then uh, for next time if I wanted to use this uh, instead of rescanning it, it's already in my machine to um, cut it out. But I didn't know that was not acceptable either so I'm kind of confused on that and um, because uh, the scan and cut is of course my personal use and my personal use only and um, it's not like I'm uploading it to online it's just on my machine so I'm not sure so if you guys know anything about that please leave me a comment because of course I don't want to do anything that's inappropriate and something that is not acceptable. You know, I want to be able to respect um, the stamps um, uh, rules and um, the, you know, designer stamp, the uh, digital stamps or whatnot, the designer's rules, you know, because that's just not fair. You know, you should purchase everything that you're going to use and not try to copy it and get it for free or something like that. So if that is a deal, then of course, I'm definitely going to delete that video and, um, you know, not share that, you know, to save it to your own machine or and stuff. And, you know, I, I just want to be sure that, you know, I'm not doing anything that's uh, inappropriate and that's not acceptable and things so if you know um, or have any comments about that please um, leave me a comment because I'm kind of confused anyway so I got this this is a nature's um, perfection this is one of the new celebration ones but celebration ended already um, the, uh, Stampin' Up! has a celebrations every um, year and um, when you purchase like a $50 worth of stuff you can choose um, one of their celebrations catalog you can choose one of the items for free for every $50 purchase but it finished and then this was uh, something new that wasn't on the original catalog so I got that 
it's really pretty the flower is really um, pretty I really like that and I like the butterfly it's really nice and these are really sweet you can like stamp a whole bunch of them and so I got that and then a couple of things like I said were back ordered so um, I'm waiting for those and then this was something that I was debating whether to get it or not well because um, I have you know the my Cricut and my scan and cut and you can you know do a lot of die cuts on it but I'm, I think I'm kind of getting lazy to the fact that where I don't want to use the machine I'd rather use the dies because it's much quicker and this die is a um, it's a mini treat bag thin knit dies I know a lot of um, the companies have their own I've seen uh, quite a bit I think uh, I don't know if Lawn Fawn or you know the other companies make this die the treat uh, bag die and I've seen it and I've always um, was thinking if I should get it or not but I got the Stampin Up one only because that it this is in two sections and the bag is quite big the treat bag it's not you know as tiny as some of the other bags and I wanted the bigger the better I thought um, because then I could fit more things inside and um, you the uh, those of you guys that have been watching me for a while know that I always make goodie bags so um, this is something that would really help me out but I do have the uh, back punch board which I love and I use all the time so this is really cool so it's two sections so this would be um, you would cut this out and you would attach this to um, you would cut two panels of this and then one of this and then you would stick up them all together to create um, I don't wait not two panels one of each and then you just attach it and make your treat bags and then inside they filled it with a lot of different dyes that you can use this one says for you and then it has this heart border star border and it has this really cute bow uh, also has a star and the heart and this is actually another die as well and then this says enjoy so I thought this was this was like 40 bucks but I think it's really worth it so I got that so um, this is uh, that was all I got and I'm waiting for my um, order to come in uh, from Tupelo Designs LLC uh, they have uh, every day they have a different deal for you which is really cool and um, so I this weekend the Sunday's deal was buy three stamps and you get one free that was I thought pretty amazing and then stencils too so um, I got some stencils and some stamps and things which will probably either be here t today or tomorrow because they're like super fast with the shipping and so um, I'll leave the links below for the Tupelo Designs LLC and um, so that you can get updates every day and t take advantage of the deals that they have so um, thank you so much for watching and um, please uh, leave me a comment regarding that um, subject of uh, the stamps on my scan and cut um, I would really appreciate it so thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time thanks bye